the moment I stepped foot in this house, I knew it was my home. I just knew. Like, you know how sometimes you just know? I just knew. That's why we go back to the verse that says, with man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. With God, anything can be yeah. good. He can do anything. He doesn't need the man-made way to do it. He doesn't need our processes and programs. He doesn't need our outline and 12 points. He doesn't need our opinion or our perspective. If he wants to do it, if he's ordained it for you, he's going to do it. And that is what I walked through in this process. I low key feel like I should change my background for this one. Like we've been in this position for a minute. But I guess since I'm spacing these videos out, y'all aren't bored. At least that's what I'm guessing. If you're bored, say I. That's not helpful because I won't hear it or see it until much later. Okay, let's give it a try. First of all, if you're new, hi, this is part three. I really encourage you to go back and watch part one and part two so you can figure out why any of this is relevant. My name is Gabrielle, I also go by Gabby. I'm very happy you're here. To those of you who are just ready to get into part three and the, the rest of the dialogue, I'm gonna shift over to the living room so we have a new scenery. So, cat's been out the bag, but in the YouTube world, I'm happy to share that I bought a whole house. I bought a house. Can we just sit with that for a second? I bought a house. What? I still don't think I've really like allowed myself to process that since it happened because everything was so rapid fire. Like end of November, December is another blur for good reason. So I originally started this series talking about how June, July, August were kind of a blur because of bad reason. November, December are a blur for all the right reasons. I felt like the Lord said, oh, you think your 2022 is finished and the story of your 2022 is going to be sadness and this rough journey. And you think that's where the testimony is going to end for 2022. Bet I turn this whole thing around. Bet I turn it all around for your good in a matter of a couple weeks and did. Blew my mind. Forget just turning around for my good. He literally was like, I'm gonna show out to remind you that the God that you serve does not just leave you in broken places and has you going through crap for nothing. Like everything we go through with God, y'all, has a purpose. I know I'm already getting to my like testimony conclusion, but like everything, and you think like really everything, like the bad stuff feels like this can't be part of God's plan. This can't be what he had in mind. This can't be part of the story, the vision that he had for me. And then he just show up. And the way life be life in, like the energy that life be on as it's lifing, God matches and exceeds that energy when he be gotten. You know what I'm saying? Like life be life in, but then God be gotten. And it's just, it's it's really crazy. I'm saying a whole lot without saying anything. So let's get to it. Again, I have my notes to hopefully keep myself on track. So far, I don't know how successful that's been, but here we are nonetheless. So the last video I talked about, my acquaintance that became a friend, that became family, and her whole family was literally an angel of God, Bianca. Um, I talked about that in the last video. So if you missed that miracle story and how that was a setup for everything I'm about to tell you, like the story, the testimony don't hit good unless you have the full story. So please go back and watch part two. But now that we're here in part three, that um, period of time, that three months that I was with her allowed me to save up so much money. I don't want to say so much like I'm rich, but I was able to save money in a way that I haven't been able to do in previous years. I didn't have a good savings plan down. Um, and like I told you all, it makes no sense that, or it made no sense to me in September when I moved out, literally had like, I don't even know the first thing about buying a house. I've been kind of dibbling and dabbling with a realtor friend from church, but 
I wasn't like set like yes I have the ability to buy a house this year no I had told Bianca when I moved in my goal is to be out by like January February um and I would I knew I wanted to give myself a timeline so I don't just do nothing and I kept saying like I don't want to rent again I don't want to really rent again but then as time was going on and you know I think it was around early November I was just like maybe I should just rent again like I was about to give up y'all I was just kind of feeling defeated. I knew I didn't want to go the route of renting again and giving somebody my money and just watching it literally disappear and make them rich and get me nothing other than a roof over my head. But I knew I didn't want to go that route. But I had no idea how to buy a house. <laughs> and I had no prospect for getting money for a down payment. Literally watched that unfold before my very eyes. So um, like I said, around November, I was kind of getting antsy. I don't want to just be, you know, at my friend's house by default and not honor my timeline and not, you know, get get out of their space. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was grateful that they had so willingly opened up their home to me, but I just knew if I got too comfortable, I would still be there next year. <laughs> um, and I've never had an experience like that. I've never I had to you know live with a friend um in between thank god i know some people couch surfing has been part of your story um a regular part of your story and god is faithful even in that but um i just knew i wanted to have a plan and i just felt like i wasn't getting close to a plan and like i said i was defaulting to maybe i should just sign another lease so i started looking at leases i started searching for apartments and um yeah I had found a couple I was disappointed again to be spending that kind of money for the you know just a place that would make me feel comfortable um I was I was really torn it was a random Saturday random some random day I don't know in November and my realtor friend that I had been working with from church decided to reach out again randomly um because we hadn't talked in probably a couple months about home buying I had looked at some houses online but never actually gone to look at a house and she was like hey are you still interested in buying a house this year so y'all this is November and although I had been saving I just was like this year I'm, I like almost wanted to laugh at her her saying it like it was just so much a possibility I'm like huh like what do you think I'm working with here <laughs> she told me to just look she was like you know what let's just look at some homes let me know um you know if you see anything that you want to go visit and we'll just we'll go look at it along with that conversation she told me you should just kind of go through the process and get a pre-approval um from a lending company so that you at least know what you're working with and I was terrified of this I had actually started the uh, pre-approval with this company over the summer I think um, and when they got to the, it's, it's hilarious now, but back then I got to the question of assets and, um, like they had a, you like link your bank accounts or whatever for them to understand your assets. You know, how much money are you sitting on? How much money are you working with? And baby, when I tell you, I got to that assets page and clicked out of that application. I was like, y'all not going to expose me. I'm not. I'm not going to expose myself by linking my bank account so y'all can laugh at me and say, sis, all you can afford is a 4 for 4 at Wendy's, not a home. I don't know how you got confused, but Wendy's is down the street. Hit us up when you have real money. Like, that's what I thought the conversation was going to be at that point. So I was terrified of this application. But at that point, I had enough money saved where I was like, you know what? At least they won't laugh at me. They, they won't hearty laugh. They might chuckle. You know, I was still a little embarrassed. Like, I know this is not as much as most people be working with when they go to buy a home. You know, it wasn't stacks. It wasn't racks on racks. And so I'm like, they might chuckle at me or snicker, but they ain't going to hold belly laugh. And at the, at the worst, all they're going to say is, no, you know, it's not time for you to buy a house. So I was like, okay. So I worked up the courage and with her encouragement, just filled out the application. I go in, link the bank accounts, all of that. And the reason I did that on the day that I did is because the night before I had scrolled through realtor.com and I had come across a few houses. I was going to say it was only one, but I did. I came across like a few houses. So mind you, you got to follow the timeline here, okay? 
she reaches out to me random point that week i'm looking at houses scrolling for houses see some on a saturday night send them to her sunday morning i fill out the lending application a few hours later they were working with me you know it, i wasn't getting a no that was my first tip off it wasn't clear to me that they laughed or chuckled it seemed like they were taking me seriously so it was like oh no am i really about to buy a house like or are they saying that I can actually do this? I still didn't really believe it. So this is Sunday morning after church. She and I, there were a couple of open houses for the homes that I had found. So we drove around to like two or three open houses. Her husband is super bomb and came along with us. Her daughter even came for one of us because they're used to the home buying things. So they were pointing out things in the structure for me to look at. Because um, none of them were like new construction homes. They were all... Well, you know, older-ish homes uh, that had been renovated. And so they were like, give me all the tips. We're looking at houses. I kind of liked one. There was one that I was like, ooh, I might be able to work with this. But I just, it wasn't a love. It wasn't like a, I'm dying for this house. And then last house, I think she and I, yep, she and I just went by ourselves to the last house. And y'all, it was a decent neighborhood. Not amazing neighborhood, but it was a pretty decent neighborhood. Um, honestly, even a little bit <laughs> better of a neighborhood than the one I'm in currently. And it was so much land. It was so much land. Like, huge backyard. I'm talking like, I feel like the, if I had dogs, they could just run, you know, endlessly. Um, it was a beautiful house. It had four bedrooms, two bathrooms, two full bathrooms. Um, I don't know if there were any half bathrooms. I think it was just two full bathrooms. And it was a huge open open concept, just open space. You walk in and it's just, it was like vaulted ceiling, cute updated kitchen, hardwood floors, just very all the vibes. And instantly when I walked in, I was like, oh, I could see myself living there. And so we're walking through and I'm just gasping and just loving all the things. I loved it enough that I like made sense of the few things that I didn't really like. And I was like to have the price was, seemed right, like it just seemed good. So they did a direct pre-approval. Um, so instead of just pre-approving me for a general amount, they specifically pre-approved me for that home um, because on our way out the door, she was like, do you want to put in an offer? And I, I'm pretty sure I laughed. I was like, put in an off, like, put in an offer on a home? What does that even mean? What are you telling me right now? Like, are you telling me I can buy this house? I just, Y'all, my face in all of this was just like, huh? Perpetual confusion of like, why do y'all trust me to buy a home? So she was like, I can drop the paperwork and you let me know, like, are we, are we going forward with this? So she did. So all of this is on Sunday. Literally all of it on that Sunday. That following Monday, um, well, the next day, um, I get the official pre-approval from the lending company for that home. This is the first house that I put an offer in on. So she calls me a couple hours later and tells me not only did I put in the offer and everything went through, they accepted my offer. Y'all, what? I went from scrolling looking at homes on Realtor.com on a late Saturday night to literally 48 hours later or less than I had an accepted offer on a home. It was mind boggling. So throughout the remainder of the day, I got the actual numbers from the lending company about like basically what I'd be paying per month. It was at the very top of my budget of what I had told them like I was looking to pay every month. And I went back and forth, talked to people that, you know, I really trust. My brother is in um, real estate and has multiple properties. So I was asking him. And I was just like, you know what, I want my home to be a blessing. I want to be able to furnish furnish it and feel, you know, secure in my decision for a home. I don't want to be stretched thin and super stressed out. And we all sitting in, you know, picnic chairs because I decided to, <laughs> to purchase a home and now I don't have no more money. You know, every month is like every coin is going to the home and to my bills. So I ended up pulling out of that one. Even with my accepted offer, I pulled out. But it was super encouraging and I think that experience was very intentional because it let me know like I can do this. That like this is not so far removed from me. You know like this is it's possible for me to to get a home. Like I'm really doing this. Like that's what that moment was. It's like oh I'm we're doing this. I'm buying a home. As if that's not already miracle enough of like oh god you're about to show out. 
that very next Saturday, so literally the following weekend, the same thing happens. I'm scrolling through Realtor.com, come across a couple properties, and so I send them to her like, hey, can we check these out? So she's like, sure. So after church on Sunday, we go look at the houses. All the ones that we had looked at were just in, like the neighborhood ended up being way worse than I thought, like way worse, um, which is a common thing in like Columbus and I think other big cities too is like people are buying these super cheap foreclosed homes and all of that in some rough neighborhoods and probably trying to start the gentrification of the neighborhood which sucks you know we have our thoughts about gentrification but um you know are starting that so they do these bomb like renovations or even just generally nice renovations in these really rough neighborhoods and try to sell these homes i was disappointed kind of heartbroken that you know thinking i turned down this bomb home i thought you know some of these other ones i found would be great and we'd be able to go after them and it just didn't work out that way so we are about to go home and um she said well let's just check one more time since we're already out just do a quick scroll like have you seen some of the latest homes that you know i've sent you do you want to check out one more so we go I look on the app i think i opened it up scrolled maybe once or twice and this house popped up within my price range because also i reduced my um, price range that i was looking at for homes so that i could get one that would be more affordable for my budget and so I put the filter on for like my cap for my um, price that I'm willing to pay and this house comes up and it was staged so beautifully so it really caught my eye because I'm like oh this cute um uh, wait a minute I had high, high hopes I said okay let's at least try we go get in the car come to this house the moment I set foot in this house I knew it was my home I just knew like you know how sometimes you just know I just knew that's all I've got for you it felt like such a perfect fit it just felt like me I felt like they had staged it and done it for me so the home is actually uh, almost a hundred years old and they had taken it down to the studs and done like a, a flip it wasn't just a renovation they didn't just like paint over stuff they literally took it down to the studs and flipped it they did keep some of the original features so like the fireplace and the french doors to the office you can tell um the doors even um are original to the home um and they kind of just re-upped them and painted them make them made them look modern and and kind of nice but they still have that kind of old home feel um and i feel myself wedged right between that and my style is like i love modern like this article couch that i'm sitting on and like you know the frames in the back and that kind of a feel but then i love the like antique -y feel as well and like the old charm I'm like smack dab in between the two I'm coming to learn. So it, it, it's short and sweet, I fell in love with the house. So it was crazy to have found it on a whim, like literally I was about to go home and then we found this place, right? So she was like, do you want to put in an offer? I'm like, absolutely. Like by that point, I'm a big boss. <laughs> I'm like, we got that offer last week. I bet we gonna put in an offer. And it's so funny because the price for this home, it had been sitting on the market since, not me getting chills, I'm about to tell you this. This home had been sitting on the market since June of 2020. Okay, so clearly I've been in June of 2022. Over the next few clips, you're gonna hear me reference 2020 several times. I tried to edit them out as much as possible, but for some reason my mind was stuck on 2020. So just follow the story. I'm talking about June of 2022. And the significance of how that is the month where everything seemingly went wrong in my life, but here I am buying a house that's been on the market waiting for me since June of 2022. That's a testimony. It got reduced, I think, a couple of days before we went to look. So it the price had gotten reduced so low that it fell within that filter that I set for the price that I wanted for a home. So it was the perfect price at just the right time for me. It had been sitting here waiting for me since June. I mean, and the praise goes right there. Like, what? The testimony in that alone, when I realized that it had been on the market since June, it just was like, oh, okay, God. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So we put in an offer, apparently somebody else decided at the random last second to put in an offer as well. So I was super nervous. I felt like, oh no, like I was preparing for myself for disappointment because that's what everybody says about the home buying process is just prepare yourself to be disappointed. Like everybody I talked to that knew I was buying a house or looking to buy a house was always, I don't think they were intentionally trying to be negative, but it was just like trying to prepare me for the worst because everyone says the housing market right now, like you can't buy a home right now and blah, blah. So I was just preparing to be disappointed. Long story short, I got the call the next day that I got the house that I, that they accepted my offer and <laughs> I still just like, what? My, my, I was, I was speechless. I was literally speechless. So I'm like, darn it. If it gets into a bidding war beyond like the range that I set, I'm gonna have to drop out, which is fine. Cause I know if I don't get that one, that the Lord has something better. But it's just like the timing for me to like find this place Oh God, my realtor is calling me right now. My heart is beating, hold on. Hello, hello. Good morning, how are you? I am nervous, but I'm excited uh, for whatever you're about to tell me. <laughs> no, I did not, stop, you're lying to me. You're lying to me, you're actually lying to me. Shut up, Alina, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, no. Stop. I'm late. My heart is literally beating out of my chest. <gasps> Lena! <gasps> I cannot believe it. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. 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 What? Okay. Okay. So tell me what's next because I'm going to just keep saying oh my gosh for an hour. So. <gasps> Oh my, oh my, oh my God. I just don't even know what to do. I just don't even know what to do with my life. I don't even know. <laughs> Girl, I'm so excited for you. Like, I Thank could you. just cry. I oh, know, like, the, the journey that, ah, uh, I'm not gonna start, cause I will literally cry. I will cry right now. Y'all, my bun didn't come down, glasses off. I know y'all saw that clip. I. No, y'all saw that clip. They accepted my offer. And I'm accepting back because I want the house. So I don't know. She, of course, was telling me the next steps. But obviously, I was like, sis, send it in an email. Because a girl is just in shock. I just, there's so, there's so much. I'm so shook, you guys. I just can't believe, like, see, this is what wants to get me emotional. Because I was just on the phone with my best friends. And I just. One of them brought up like, what a year. Because literally what a year. Where I started, promotion, all the things that happened this summer, y'all, that had me ready to give up. When I say give up, give up. Like hanging on by a thread, mentally, spiritually. And for this to be where this year ends, like if that is not a testimony of put your faith in God because the, the way stuff looks in the world is not what it is. I'm telling you, it may look like everything around you is dark, is messing up, is a hot mess. It may all look a mess around you, but that is not at all a reflection of whatever God's plan is for your life. It has to come to pass regardless. His favor is intact, regardless of what your circumstances look like. And that is a fact, because that is what I'm experiencing. And I'm literally in shock. So, I can't believe I caught that moment on, on camera. I promise you that was not, like, staged. That was not a scam. This is not clickbait. This actually just happened like this. So everything just kind of went rapid fire from there. Um, I moved forward with the lending company and it was an amazing lending company. I'm gonna tell you guys, NFM Lending is a lending company that I worked with and it is phenomenal, especially for first time home buyers. They are not paying me to say this. I am not getting anything from this, but if you're looking to buy a home in the Columbus area, you need to use NFM Lending. Like they had little videos for each milestone and each step for me to know exactly what was happening. So I didn't have to have all that information beforehand like I thought I did. Like. I was literally being taught and walked through the process, which is unheard of. Like 
most people don't have an experience like that so to have just the right people at just the right time it gave me a closing date originally of December 13th so this is like November 11th or November 17th something early in November where I had my accepted offer I think it was the 17th and they were telling me literally December 13th you're on track to close and I was like what like I couldn't believe I couldn't believe it so I had a month to get everything together and be like wow I'm really about to move um of course you know people are warning you even that it's not official till it's closed you know things can happen whatever I had to do the inspection and all of that but even with that right people right time the process was scary smooth scary smooth and it was so smooth that I ended up getting approved to close days before the 13th so i had taken off work on the 13th for my move and all of that planning to have all my stuff brought to the house i had help everything was working and then they called me the week before and were like hey do you want to close on friday the 9th and i said do i <laughs> so i raced from work early to get there i got the money out of the account all the numbers were right um, and that was one of the prayers Bianca prayed for me about my home is when it's the right home, the numbers will be right. It'll be right in your budget. It'll be what you have. I won't have to do anything extra. And it was just that. Like, I sobbed when they told me, like, what my down payment would be and all of that because it was right. It was everything that I had. Another set of confirmation from God that, you know, he's he's listening that he um really prepared this way for me that's not a coincidence that this happened so easily like y'all sometimes i i really feel like i trick the system because it's like how did i how did this happen so easily when so many people say this process is so awful and like listening to man which again people are well intended like they're not trying to necessarily discourage people from buying a home but the narrative around buying a home was so scary that i had counted myself out on the word of man that's why we go back to the verse that says with man it's impossible but with god all things are possible with god anything can yeah. He can do anything. He doesn't need the man-made way to do it. He doesn't need our processes and programs. He doesn't need our outline and 12 points. He doesn't need our opinion or our perspective. If he wants to do it, if he's ordained it for you, he's going to do it. And that is what I walked through in this process. Like, it was incredible. It, it, yeah still blows my mind so everything came together perfectly I moved in um I got the keys on the 9th um because nobody was living here like I said it was a flip so I got the keys on the 9th and then I was able to slowly move in like some of my smaller items and then on the 13th I got everything else here my couch came a couple days later um and even the timing of that y'all the time that I got the house the only appliances I had to buy in the home were my washer and dryer and I was able to during the Black Friday sale get a huge deal on this beautiful washer and dryer that I have um again favor like Favor ain't fair, but favor is favor. The timing of everything was just so, it was God. It was God. So your girl is officially a homeowner in these streets. I don't, it's just, it's incredible. Um, if my talking hasn't been too long, cause I can't tell, cause I'm on clip number two. Um, but if my talking hasn't been too long, then I'll put in some clips of um, the home buying process. Um, hopefully I've been maybe inserting videos throughout, but I for sure will insert some videos here so y'all can see some of the clips that I was taking of the home buying process. Good morning, Saints. It is inspection day. In true me fashion, I am not on time. Just kidding. Well, not just kidding. I am running behind, but it's not that bad. But it is inspection day. The inspector has been there actually all morning. Um, I believe he got there at nine o'clock. And I am going now for the consultation portion where he tells me what he found. I have been praying and just whew, resting on the, the hope that there's nothing wrong with the house, that the people that flipped it did an excellent job. It's definitely better than any of the other flips that we um, found. 
and we're looking at, have been looking at. So I am hopeful that they did things right and that they didn't find any issues today, but I'm about to find out. Y'all, I'm, I'm full throttle adulting out here is what I'm gonna say, okay? I'm out here talking to home insurance companies, okay? I'm getting quotes, I'm comparing, I'm budgeting, I'm uh, talking to a home finance agency counselor. I'm doing the things. like a crash course in like home care but inspection went great I don't have any major concerns he didn't have any major concerns um, which then I didn't have any major concerns um, and so yeah I um, thank God for my like church community they really showed up today and like helped me out and figuring out like you know what are the pressing things that I'll need to address like right when I come in um, and then what are some things that like, you know, will be nice to change, but eventually we'll get there. Um, so it's real y'all. It's like really happening. I can't even like, I've already cried today. So there's that. Like, I just, it, it's hard to believe that this is all really happening so fast. My loan went through to processing. So like everything is right on track and literally on Sunday, Sunday is the first time I had stepped foot in that house and it is now Friday and I am like more than halfway done with paperwork and the process so I'm really feeling good I'm so happy I have so many visions for the house and things that I want to do oh, I can't believe this good morning Saints it is Friday oh it's not Friday yet it is Thursday December 8th um, and I had to pick up my camera because big things are happening so I meant to pick it up yesterday because that's when the big things really happened I woke up yesterday morning to a message that said clear to close clear to close if you don't know anything about home buying which honestly I didn't either for a very long time um, really just started understanding with this whole process could have closed means I am good to go. My loan is approved. All of the people that need to approve things with all the paperwork that I did over the last three weeks, everything's approved, everything's a go, and um, I'm ready to have my closing day, which in my case, I'm closing and having possession on the same day. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that if um, people live in the house. So you may close in the house saying like, this is my house but um, the people have a certain amount of time to move out until you get possession. But in my case, it's a flip, and so nobody lives in the house, so there is no need for uh, me to wait. So I get the keys on the same day. Um, and the whole time, they've been estimating my closing date as December 13th. And I remember she said it could be earlier if, um, you know, things go super smoothly. Y'all, when I tell you this process, one day when I break it all the way down, like, this process has gone too smooth. I am closing, like, almost a week early. <laughs> so I'm closing tomorrow at 4. It worked out perfectly.
closing on my first home today. I can't believe I'm saying those words. I am in shock. I'm literally in shock that I'm even saying this. Like, I can't believe it. Okay, I gotta talk fast because we're trying to beat the, the uh, what? The sunlight, the sun going down. Y'all. <laughs> what that say? What that say? It say welcome home. Okay, it's not, it's not gonna focus. It's gonna play me. Come on. It's definitely playing me right now. But it def trust me, it says welcome home. <laughs> Y'all, I got this big packet of papers that I signed. Who allowed? Who allowed me to purchase a home? Y'all, I own a home. I own an entire home. A home. Y'all, I have a driveway. I <laughs> have a driveway. We're literally headed there right now. So the appointment took way longer than it was supposed to, which I was concerned at first because I'm like, I don't think it's supposed to take this long. But there was a mis miscommunication between the lending folk and the title company about a final stage approval that was needed. I guess the lender thought they didn't need to do the final approval. The guy was like, well, your paperwork said you need to do this final approval. So we literally were there for a total of two hours and it's only supposed to take an hour. We're literally in the room just waiting and we finally got an update after like 45 minutes and he was like, listen, this is what's going on. And we were like, okay, like what's the plan? We got in contact with the lending folk. And so the approval for that um, is technically still pending. I mean, all the paperwork is approved, money is transferred, paperwork is signed, like all of that is the thing, I guess it's just a final stage, like, you know, saying that they review the documents and say like, you know, there's no errors, there's no place that I was supposed to sign and didn't sign, or, you know, stuff like that, or like an additional paper that I was supposed to sign and didn't sign. So I was, I was concerned about, not concerned about my finances. God has covered me completely. I had all the money that I needed for this to go through. But I was like, you know, wow, if my first payment is in January, like, I'll be fine. I already did my budget and all of that. But, like, building up my savings account, building that back, you know, it's going to be, it's going to take a minute, okay? A girl got bills to pay, especially now. I'm a homeowner. Y'all, do you know the first payment is not due until February? I get to keep my whole chickity check next month. My whole check, okay? I'm not rent free, but I'm in a whole house. What? my initial excitement I still have not cried which is just so weird to me I don't know if it's because there's so much other stuff going on I don't know but we're headed there now my realtor is headed there we have to take some photos with the sold key sign and uh, I have nothing for the house right now as far as like nothing's packed and ready to be moved there right now so it's just gonna be me enjoying the space using my key in my house and yeah. Hello house. Hello house. Oh my god, that's the worst life stuff. I'm in my house. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
really hope you enjoyed this footage of my home. I think I put the empty house tour in there as well. Uh, so you all will be seeing rooms. Things are definitely not done being furnished. As you can see, my living room looks a bit empty. The whole other half of my office that I wasn't recording in is empty. I just have boxes of my office supplies and a, the puzzle that I'm working on is on the floor. My dining room's empty. Um, there's still a lot that I want to do with this place, but I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful that God has blessed me with this. What I have now is just enough and it is a blessing to have what I need and just start building my life in this home. The next video will be me talking about my engagement testimony and um, hitting the nail on the head. Uh, this will be a separate video for you all, but uh, not for me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and record that video as well right now. Um, so even though this is much later, pray for you all, cause I'm not super nervous, but I just, I want God to be glorified in how I share this. So I hope you all will receive it with that mindset. I do look forward to getting into that part of my what happened in 2022 story, because to be honest, I think y'all love me and some of you have been enjoying part one, two, three, but I think a, a bunch of y'all are here for part four. So let's just get into it and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in that next video.